For more on Argentina's shale oil and gas industry, Martin Catefe joins us from Buenos Aires. He's a research analyst in the energy and power systems practice at Frost and Sullivan. You know, Martin, we were hearing in that report where uh, the gentleman said that, they, you know, Argentina is poised to be a world player. And, you know, what's interesting about this is when you get past U.S. and China, Argentina actually has the third most recoverable shale gas reserve. So how much of a gold mine are we talking about? Yes, effectively. Well, according to the Argentinian government estimates, we're talking about 23 billion barrels of oil and gas and conventional resources. However, I would like to point out that the Energy um, Information Administration of the United States confirmed that at the Bacomorta Basin, we have at least 240 TCF. This is technically recovered resources. And then we have 167 at the Los Moles Formation. These two plays configure the Austral Basin in the Patagonian Argentina. Martin, uh, in, in some countries there's been a lot of uh, complaints about this uh, fracking issue. Uh, why would you say that the uh, environmentalists haven't been more aggressive there in Argentina about this? Well, certainly, Mike. Um, I would like to point out that the shale gas development is very recent in Argentina. And you have to know that this is a development that uh, we've been seen always in specialized media, in trade publications, but uh, public opinion is not aware of shale gas as a major energy changer or, so, or as an alternative energy solution. So, I mean, we are Frost and Sullivan are expecting that there's going to be great opposition, but in the near future. Why? Because we're thinking that in major U.S. plays, we've seen problems and issues regarding the water treatment, regarding wastewater, and regarding water contamination. So basically, this is a key issue for some regions in Argentina and some regions where the plays uh, are. And basically, the Chaco, for example, where the Chaco Paranaense play is located, has uh, grave issues with regards to uh, water infrastructure. In fact, 60% of population of that province lacks adequate water supply. So we think that the fracking process uh, is going to be uh, problematic, but in the near future. Let me ask you this. There's a leading executive here in the United States who was talking to uh, investors and said, uh, that he mentioned this in September, he said that the Argentina could really explode if the price got right, but the price isn't there yet. Um, do you think that's true? And, and where do you see the price now? And is it still an issue? Well, you see, the, the price is an issue because we don't have price equilibrium here in Argentina. And really, I would like to, to point out to the viewers that uh, in Argentina, we have a very low price for gas. Now, the government has rectified this position recently, but uh, we're expecting that Argentina will continue to deplete its resources of gas. And in fact, uh, I would like to say that Argentina has depleted at a rate of 3% annually during the last decades its resources of oil and gas. The price is a, ma a major concern here because we are importing now gas from Bolivia and also liquefied natural gas, or LNG. But um, Martin, I'm, the I'm problem afraid is we're, that we... We're, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm sorry, we've run out of time. But thanks so much, Martin Catefe. Uh, thank you so much for joining us.